Hey, hello, hi everybody, it's Rick. Welcome back to Rick's Trips channel. I just came back from my nine days in Japan and one of the uh, trips that I took was fantastic. I went from Shinjuku train station to uh, Mount Fuji and Lake Kawaguchi. It was, uh, it was a great adventure. I picked up the train in Shinjuku train station then I jumped on the, I think it was a limited express train or Mount Fuji express. It was Mount Fuji Express to Atsuki. I didn't have a full Mount Fuji Express ticket, so I had to find my own way once I got to Atsuki, and I was able to do so on the Fuji Yoko Railway. It's an old railway system, which was uh, quite an adventure. I actually got to sit right in the front of the car and could see out the window. I could see the driver out the window. It was great, we running down the rail track. I love trains. And uh, got some great videos of Mount Fuji as we were approaching the area. So this is a great adventure, great side trip. You can do it in a day. It takes two hours to get there, probably two hours to get back. And then you got to figure in some travel time and walk to your hotel. But I probably spent four hours walking around the lake. I'm sure it's a great place to go in the summertime. It was actually great when I went in December. So I loved it. It was The temperatures were mild. So I'm sure they do get some snow up there. I did see lots of snow on Mount Fuji. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, like all of them, please press the like button, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Aloha. Okay, I'm at the Shinjuku train station in Tokyo, trying to find the Tokyo, or the Mount Fuji limited express train, Fuji excursions. They're at 7.30, 8.30, and 9.30. I'm supposed to have a, uh, seat supplement. I can't find a place to pay it, so I'm just going to get on the 930. Maybe I can buy one on the train. Follow this blue line. The limited express train. Either track 9 or 10. I think this one at 930 is going to be track 10. Okay, I'm on the platform and I heard an announcement about you can get the reserve ticket at the machine. And I guess I'm only 60 meters from it. So, gotta get my reserve ticket. We'll see. I used the Welcome Suica card that I bought at the Haneda Airport to purchase my reservation at these machines. The yellow and green seats are reserved by other passengers, so please do not sit there. Well, I finally figured out the ticket machine with minutes to spare. I had to uh, book the reservation to Atsuki. And I'm not sure I understood the announcement, but I think from Otsuki to Kawaguchiku is uh, fully booked, so I'll probably be standing in the train or finding another way to get there. But we'll get there. On the Fuji Limited Express. Fuji Spurs. Leaving Shinjuku Station. It's a busy station. I think it said it's the busiest in Tokyo. Limited Express bound for Kofu, combined with the Fuji Excursion Limited Express bound for Kawaguchiko. We will be stopping at Tachikawa, Hachioji, and Otsuki. After leaving Otsuki Station, cars 4 through 12 will go to the Kofu Terminal with stops at Enza, Yamanashishi, and Isawa Onsen. After leaving Otsuki Station, Cars 1 through 3 will go to the Kawaguchiko Terminal with stops at Tsurubunka Daigakumae, Shimo Yoshida, Mount Fuji, and Fuji Q Highland. Passengers without a seat reservation or limited express ticket may sit in seats displaying a red lamp. 
However, even though the seat is currently vacant, it may have been reserved for a later part of the journey by another passenger. If so, the seat lamp will turn yellow before arriving at the station. Do not smoke in this train. If you wish to use a mobile phone, please go to the end sections near the doors. The next stop will be Kachikawa. We wish you a pleasant journey. Thank you. Otsuki station and to go to Kawaguchi station I have to use my speaker card so I was able to charge it up and it's like 1100 yen so I put another 3000 on there just so I can get back and leaves at 1101 off track one so the person at the gate spoke good English and was very helpful and it's very busy here or it was now people seem to be uh, all settled down I had about 25 minutes before I had to catch the train to Kawaguchiko Station. So I just walked around the blocks a little bit of Atsuki Station, pronounced Atsuki in Japanese. Looks like a place I might want to explore further in the future. Okay, you had to use your rail pass and your speaker card. So put your rail pass in and then tap the speaker card. GQ Railway, Kawaguchiko. This is the Gucci Q call line train for Kawaguchi Boat. I happened to notice on every Japanese train I was on, the drivers always seemed to point at all the signs. And I believe it was always important. Very good safety measure. Right near Mount Fuji Station, there's Fujikyu Highland. Thomas Land. Thomas the Train. Lots of roller coasters here. The next station is Kawasaki Terminal. Welcome to Kawaguchi Ko Train Station. This is your stopping point for Lake Kawaguchi. Very busy train station. Very beautiful, too. Track number one. The next station is Fujikyu Highland. Thomas Land Station. The JR Pass is invalid here because it's a private rail line. I think I'm just going to walk. <laughs> this train station had everything. It had a restaurant and it had gift shops, bathrooms, information areas. And it was really very attractive. It was a nice place. Okay, at Kawaguchi Station near Mount Fuji. They have coin lockers. Lots of buses sit everywhere, but I don't really know where I want to go, so I'm just going to walk around for a bit. Maybe I should first check to see what time I need to get back. I don't need to get back, but eh, I'm just going to go for a walk. That's how I do it. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hey, I'm here at uh, Kawaguchiko train station near Mount Fuji. You can see in the background there. And I'm going to head off exploring. I see lots of buses going everywhere, but... Just gonna risk it and take a walk. Hopefully, I don't get lost. Let's see. They said it's gonna look for Mount Fuji to find my way back. Train station's right in front of it. Lots of maps. Let's check out this area information map. That's where I am. 
sightseeing boat. The panoramic ropeway. Mount Fuji panoramic ropeway. I've heard of that. I think I'll try that. There's the lake. It's a wee bit cold for some ice cream today, but that is cool. This is the Mount Fuji panoramic ropeway. It's actually a cable car. Gives you some great views of the Mount Fuji. However, the line was 60 minutes long, at least. Then I walked into the Fujiyama Cookie Company. They have some amazing looking cookies. Looks very tasty. I probably should have picked some up and bring some back for gifts. But I told myself I didn't have enough room in my luggage. But in all honesty, I probably would have eaten it before I got home. Yummy. More ice cream. I bet this is a hopping place in the summer. It's gonna take a walk through the tunnel. It's like a nice shrine built into the side of the hill. Sure is beautiful here. I don't see Mount Fuji. I guess the ropeway is the best way to see it, but the line was over 60 minutes, so I figured I'd wait. Maybe we'll go shorter. Let's take a walk through the tunnel. I'm not sure if there's anything down there, so I'm gonna to walk towards where I saw more people, even though I have to be in Tokyo. In Kyoto, I am tired of crowds. This is on Lake Kawaguchi go. Cool, long bridge. Let's go around the other end of the lake. Maybe I'll get a view of Fuji from there. There seems to be plenty of public bathrooms around, so that's nice, especially on a chilly day for an old man. Look at the swan boats. Nice. Let's check this out. Today I took this uh, walkway that I found and there were some amazing views of the lake and the surrounding mountains. Beautiful. Yeah, I haven't seen this on YouTube at all in my research, so maybe I found something uh, unique. Sure are some great views up here of the lake so far. Nah, not today. <laughs> Looks like the road is heading down the mountain. Really switchbacks here. This is a nice little walk. I was hoping to maybe get to where the ropeway is so you can see Mount Fuji, but it didn't take me there. Hey, I am right under the ropeway. So if I took these stairs, I could probably be up there. 
Let's see how long the line is now. <laughs> it sure looks like the line's still pretty long. Well, that walk was a nice adventure. I think I'm going to continue to try to get around the other side of the lake to see if I can see the mountain from there. If not, I'll see you again at the train station. Right next to the cheesecake place is that walking path I just took. Up on the boat, I saw going across the lake. Here it comes, and there's the top of the panoramic ropeway. Next time, some very nice looking hotels here. Kawi Guchiko. There's Mount Fuji Sun. Beautiful. A different view, different side of the lake. Looks like lava rock. Must be, because Fuji is a volcano. Kind of reminds me of Hawaii. Uh oh. That doesn't remind me of Hawaii. Look at that snow. I just picked up one of these chicken patties at Lawson. I heard, seen, heard so much about it on YouTube. I'll give it a try. Here on Lake Kawaguchiko. Okay, heading back to the train station now. Had a couple more nice views of Mount Fuji. Also some pretty cool statues that are right near the train station along with several restaurants. And a 7-Eleven is right there too. All right in front of the train station. Just outside of the train station. A lot of restaurants, shops, souvenirs, 7-Eleven. Since I was traveling on the Japan Rail Pass, I had to buy a supplementary ticket to get from Lake Kawaguchi or Kawaguchiko Station back to Atsuki Station. And the train was packed, standing room only the entire way. Well, at least for an hour until we got to Otsky Station. Then they connected a couple more trains and included a green car, so I was able to use my JR Pass and ride in comfort all the way back to Tokyo. For your safety, please stand behind the yellow line. Please stand behind the yellow Okay, the express train was completely back, stood up for an hour. This train connected to it, so there should be a green car that is car number nine. And I didn't have a seat reservation because you can't get that in uh, Kawaguchiko because that's not part of uh, the pan rail. But I asked one of the ladies on the platform that worked there, she said, uh, Rows two and seven were available in car nine. So, there we go. Let's give it a shot. The adventure continues. 
So if you took this Fuji Express from Fujiko back to Shinjuku, and you were in a standing room only situation where there were no seats available, when the train gets to Atsuku, or Atsuki they call it, they're gonna attach another several cars. So there'll be a green car in that one and uh, several standard cars that have plenty of seat reservations or plenty of seats available. And looking at the uh, red and green lights there. Red means no one's reserved a seat. Green means it's reserved. Yellow means someone will be getting in there soon. No more standing. Well, I hope you enjoyed another version of my 7-Day Japan Rail Pass. And if you found it informative and entertaining, I hope you'll hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you.